Hi, welcome to automationtesting.in. In this video, we will see find the desktop application elements using WinApp driver recorder. So in our previous video, we have seen the same thing using inspect.exe tool. Okay, here we have one more option to find the elements that is WinApp driver recorder. Okay, so WinApp driver also providing one recorder to find the elements. So where you can find this recorder, okay? So the location download WinApp driver recorder. So I'll provide the link here. So the link is the same link which we use to download the WinApp driver, okay? So the same releases, WinApp driver releases. So when, when you go to this location, when you go to this location, on the top we found WinApp driver version 1.2.1, right? So when you scroll down, you see that this is 1.2.1 and then you have 1.2. And when you scroll down, you see that WinApp driver UI recorder version 1.1, okay? In the same location, if you scroll down, you can find this. Just scroll down, you'll find assets. So WinApp driver UI recorder dot zip, this is zip file. So just click on this. So then it will start to download. I'll save, then it will download in my, so download folder. So it's done. I'll go to that particular folder where it is downloaded. So here, I'll just right click, extract L. So I'll extract the folder here itself. Okay. You see that? It is extracted and it opened. When you open, you'll find WinApp driver UI recorder.exe. Right. Here you'll find. Okay. WinApp driver UI recorder.exe. So when you double click on this, sorry. So this is the WinApp driver UI recorder. Okay. So you see WAD WinApp driver UI recorder. So if you want to know what are these options, we have one more URL. I'll provide the link here itself. You'll find these things in the description. So this is another link. So I'll go to this link in the browser. When you come down using that this explaining what exactly the tool is. Okay, so in the top section, it's light green. So top panel, XPath query. So XPath query of an action. So I'll highlight this. You see that XPath query of an action event query can be used by WinApp driver to interact with target element. Okay, so this is top panel. This bottom panel will have XML nodes and C sharp code. So what it is saying, XML node attributes are provides as raw data similar to page source on a web browser. So the data what you are getting here is very similar to when you say right click and inspect on a browser, how you find the code behind that, the same kind of information you will get in the bottom panel. Okay, so when you scroll down a little bit, so you have record UI action events button and you can clear the data. Once you record uh, once you record something, you will get the information here, right? If you want to clear that, you can click on clear and drop down for previously recorded events. Once an event is selected, both panels are updated with the respective data of that particular event. Okay, uh, this is the brief uh, like information about the recorder tool. Okay, just an idea. Now, I will open 
the banking application okay so it is in my d drive banking system i'll open this then i want to inspect this so where is my recorder you see this is my recorder so i'll just increase this a little bit to see some everything properly so you see that you need to click on a record button otherwise it will not find any element so record you see that when i hover here otherwise i'll click you see i hover when i hover here you see that see it is hovering something else so i'll hover on this again when you click on this you see that here the xpath query okay so you'll find this and the hierarchy you see that it is a pane pane means kind of tag name okay kind of tag inside the pane you have window inside the window you have two edit boxes edit edit okay something like that it is giving some information on the uh, of that particular ui okay but this is my copy full x path copy x path including session path clear session path so i want to copy will do copy full x path and i'll paste here here itself we'll see what exactly it is okay this is full x path i never tried even this one so i'll inspect again so that is the problem with these tools copy x path excluding session path i'm not sure I'll, i want to see that so i'm getting the same thing so no difference here so whatever it may be when you observe this one if i do a little bit yeah oh sorry so it is in a single line so the pane pane is something like that you see that it is finding the elements when you hover on that you see it is hovering so that is the problem with these tools so but once if you are done better to you need to pause okay click on pause and minimize and you can see the class name the class name is here you see hash 32769 you have name desktop one inside that window here actual window application right bank system inside that you have automation id main inside that edit automation id em log so you have automation id that is accessibility id all right so previously we have seen that when you use inspect dot exe right the automation id em log so here it will give you only xpath query so from that you can define other elements you see when you find the automation id okay you have accessibility id you can take em log okay so but when you compare to this one to inspect dot exe there it is very straight forward and you have so many attributes here only xpath query will get so but sometimes it will it might helpful and sometimes inspect might helpful okay so that is the reason we should know both so now what i'll do instead of taking all these things i'll take this one as xpath okay i will construct this xpath right here so xpath starts with the double slash edit at the rate automation id equals to you know instead of taking like this i'll put a single quote okay and this is my xpath so i'll go back to the same code which we am which we are using so you here you see that find element by accessibility id previously we used now what i'll use i'll use xpath okay 
I'll change it to x path. Find element by x path. So I'll provide the x path here. Okay, and the remaining things are same. So the same way, I want to do it for password. So clear everything, record, and click on this. You see that? This is what. Yeah, pass log. Okay. So when I, I'll copy this the same thing here. Paste. And uh, okay, let me take the login also. After that, I will so clear this one and click on login. Give me one second. You see that login I'll take this and I'll pass and I'll go to here and I'll paste here. So you need to understand what exactly I'm doing. So by using this. So if you know how to find the element, most of the things are done. Okay. So here I'll I'll make it this X path. Remaining things will never change. Send keys, click driver dot find element. All these things will never change. But you need to know how to find the element. That is changes from application to application and element to element. So if you are good in finding the elements, so seventy five percent of your work is done. Okay. So here also, what I'll do, I'll take X path for the password. And I'll put the X path here. Dot send keys and the password password. Okay. So when you come to this one, you see that it is a bit long. So the pane class name same class names three two seven six nine and the desktop one window is banking bank system. So automation ID main till here it is same. But after that you have pane at the rate name equals to email and starts with automation id table layout panel and the button name equals to login and it starts with button so if you are familiar with like xpad all these things so i don't need all these things you see that i have a name property with the login so i'll construct one more xpad from this okay otherwise you can name is called login right we can directly use that we already using here right find element by name login but we are using x path here right so we'll try to construct the x path and we'll use the same thing okay i'll take this button name equals to login so you cannot you can use straight forward but you see that very long and there is so many things are not useful so by taking this one you need to customize according to your need and you need to you should be expertise to do all these things so here the same thing x path so here the p is capital so here again i'll remove this login and told you you see that i have taken all the values as x path previously two accessibility ids one name now i changed everything to x path and i minimized the code how it is given it has given very big one right it has given very big one so i i made it uh, readable and you know understandable so and the server is running here so i'll just try to execute this and we'll observe whether it is finding the element using this x path and typing in that so we found all this information using what winamp driver ui recorder okay so run we will see you see that it is saying already opened so because it is being used by another process okay so if the application is open just close the application and you just run again
you just observe yeah email at the gmail.com and password yeah it clicked on the login button then you are getting the error message the reason is credentials are not correct okay so it is working perfectly with this xpath values also right so what we saw in this so we were we went to this location releases url and we downloaded the ui recorder that is a zip file so you unzip that and there you will find the recorder exe you just double click on that then you will find this application so you start record and try to identify the elements okay this is how you need to use winamp driver ui recorder to find the elements okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video so before concluding this i have a small request please subscribe to my youtube channel for further and interesting updates